And speaking of autonomy, it might be, again, this is farm logic, man. This is me. This is a guy who knows nothing, who's just a dude. If anybody's going to wreck my vehicle, it's going to be me, not some robot. That, <laughs> right? You know, I, I put, even though you can give me all the stats, I want to wreck my car if it's going to get wrecked. I know that sounds stupid, but I think that might be the mindset in the beginning. And you can agree or disagree, that's fine. But I'm curious, what, what is it going to take for that to turn? I think I have a pretty good idea about what our transportation is going to be like 30 years from now. How we get from where we are today to where we're going to be 30 years from now, I'm not sure. But uh, if you think about uh, whether it's a cruise or a Tesla, one of these autonomous vehicles today, they make all of their own decisions as a, you know, as a, as a single vehicle. One vehicle makes its own decisions about how to navigate. In the year 2050, all of the vehicles are going to be connected to each other. And the vehicles are also going to be connected to the traffic infrastructure. So connected to crosswalks, intersections, turn signals, stop signs, that sort of thing. And um, once all of the vehicles are connected to each other, that's when we get to zero or near zero collision. 